Hi, my name is Manan Shah and I am the business head at Fafadia Tech. I head the ERP Next implementation services at Fafadia Tech. And in this video, I'll be covering the email integration feature on ERP Next. So here's an overview of what I'll be covering in this video. Uh, so firstly, um, if you want to use the email integration feature, you need to set up your email account on ERP Next. And ERP Next uh, documentation on that is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, please follow the link given below in the description or get in touch with us if you have any other questions in this regard. Uh, next, I'll be going over different use cases that organizations can uh, use um, and automate their business functions in the organization. Um, and finally, I'll be giving a short demo on one of the use cases. So let's begin with uh, a very common and a very popular example uh, where email integration on ERP Next can be used. Uh, so this is related to sales. And um, so what you can do is set up an email which can log all the sales related leads. Uh, so let's say you have an email called sales at Fafaria Tech. So all the emails that uh, come to that particular email address can be through various campaigns it can be Google AdWords or your just your landing pages or any other campaign so all these emails will be logged as a lead um, on the CRM of ERP next and then you can either send a quotation convert them further down your sales funnel and just do whatever you want to do with that particular lead now the next use case is related to issues and ticketing uh, so this can be useful in uh, organizations as a ticketing system. So you, again, you can set up an email address like issues at fafadiatech.com and all the emails that come to that particular email address uh, will be converted to an issue on ERP Next or its support module. Now the next use case is related to HR. Um, so in this particular use case, what you can do is um, set up another email address um, which usually organizations have like careers at fafadiatech.com and all the emails or inquiries regarding to careers that come to that particular email will be logged in as a job application on ERP Next. So the main benefit of uh, having this integration is uh, you don't have to do anything manually with the email addresses and even if the email is just junk or spam or unintended for that particular function you can just delete it from ERP next as well um, and the most important advantage is that you can log all the communication with that particular customer or a job applicant on one single platform This is the last part of the video where I'll be giving a demonstration on one of the use cases uh, which was the first use case that I explained which is related to sales. Let's take a look at how do you configure the email address in order to fetch all the emails and show them up as a lead on ERP Next. So we'll go to the setup, email account. So I've been using this email address um, and, and basically what you need to do is append all the emails coming in onto this particular email address as lead. So you can also append it as a to-do, as a job applicant, lead, opportunity or issue um, based on the use case that you want to uh, use it for. Uh, so that's basically how you set up the email. Now assume there's a company called ABC Trading and the customer sends an email for a request for quotation. 
saying please send a quotation for equipment one four numbers now once that email is sent it will appear here in the inbox as well as on ERP next as a lead uh, it takes some time to show up as a lead but it will show up here as a lead. Now, as you can see, um, there has been a lead created based on the email that we received. If we go in, you can see there is a lead. Um, so you can also check out what, what was the email sent out. Um, just type in the name of the customer. So usually the name, you find out uh, the name of the customer based on the signature uh, which is actually missing on this email but that's how you figure out the name and the company name and then you can assign this particular lead to a lead owner, it can be uh, your own self uh, which was administrator or I'll just assign it to the salesperson. Save it and next I will convert this lead into a customer first and the reason I want to do that is I want to have a trail of communication for that particular prospect at one single place um, so if I convert the lead into the customer uh, then by taking a look at that particular customer in that customer master I'll have a consolidated view of all the communication so I'll save it So now this Tiwari and Sons is a customer of ABC Trading. If I go here, this Tiwari and Sons, and now I will start my communication. Here, um, what I can do is send a quotation, make a new quotation. So will be Tiwari and Sons as a request quotation for four equipment one so this is the rate that is defined on my item master I can even change it based on my relationship with that particular customer or prospect then I'll save it uh, and submit it uh, so as you can see once I submit it it will automatically prompt me a box where it will ask me if I want to send this email I can either close it or choose to send a good practice would be generally to send an email out as soon as you create a quotation um, so I would say please find This is the first communication that has happened to that particular prospect from the system. Say uh, the lead owner, which in our case is salesperson, decides to follow up on the quotation that was sent out. So you can just send a new send a new email to that particular customer. Uh, the subject will be pre-populated regarding quotation 001. Hi, I'm Kip. Is there any other in information that you need so that email will be sent out um, and the customer will receive that email so as I had mentioned in my previous slide that the main advantage of having ERP next and email integration is that you can view the whole communication trail with a particular customer on one single uh, platform you can log all the communication that you have done with that particular customer. Uh, so let me show you how that looks on ERP next. Uh, if I click on the customer and go to the particular 
customer um, i can see the whole communication trail that has happened with that particular customer so it started off with one of the users sending them a quotation and then another user following up and uh, then the customer finally finally replies saying thank you i will let you know so this is the main advantage of uh, email integration with erp next uh, you can log not just uh, the communication between one user and the customer but uh, log communication happening between the customer and multiple users in your order.